Section 3. Gimel. Education of Mary and Elizabeth in Zoan. Section 3. Gimel. Education of Mary and Elizabeth in Zoan. Chapter 7. Archelaus reigns. Mary and Elizabeth with their sons are in Zoan and are taught by Elihu and Salome. Elihu's Introductory Lesson Tells of an Interpreter The son of Herod, Archelaus, reigned in Jerusalem. He was a selfish, cruel king. He put to death all those who did not honor him. The two he called in council all the wisest men and asked about the infant claimant to his throne. Two. Three the council said that John and Jesus both were dead. Then he was satisfied. Three. For now Joseph... Mary and their son were down in Egypt in Zoan, and John was with his mother in the Judean hills. 4. 5. Elihu and Salome sent messengers in haste to find Elizabeth and John. They found them and they brought them to Zoan. 5. 6. Now, Mary and Elizabeth were marveling much because of their deliverance. 6. 7. Elihu said, It is not strange. There are no happenings. Law governs all events. 7. 8. From olden times it was ordained that you should be with us, and in this sacred school be taught. 8. 9. Elihu and Salome took Mary and Elizabeth out to the sacred grove nearby where they were wont to teach. 9. 10. Elihu said to Mary and Elizabeth, You may esteem yourselves thrice blessed, for you are chosen mothers of long-promised sons. 10. 11 who are ordained to lay in solid rock a sure foundation stone on which the temple of the perfect man shall rest, a temple that shall never be destroyed. 11. 12 we measure time by cycle ages, and the gate to every age we deem a milestone in the journey of the race. 12. 13 an age has passed, the gate unto another age flies open at the touch of time. This is the preparation age of soul, the kingdom of Emmanuel, of God and man. 13. 14. And these, your sons, will be the first to tell the news, and preach the gospel of goodwill to men, and peace on earth. 14. 15. A mighty work is theirs, for carnal men want not the light, they love the dark, and when the light shines in the dark they comprehend it not. 15. 16. We call these sons, revealers of the light, but they must have the light before they can reveal the light. 16. 17. And you must teach your sons, and set their souls on fire with love and holy zeal, and make them conscious of their missions to the sons of men. 17. 18. Teach them that God and man were one, but that through carnal thoughts and words and deeds, man tore himself away from God, debased himself. 18. 19. Teach that the holy breath would make them one again, restoring harmony and peace. 19. 20. That naught can make them one but love, that God so loved the world that he has clothed his Son in flesh that man may comprehend. 20. 21. The only Savior of the world is love, and Jesus, Son of Mary, comes to manifest that love to men. 21. 22. Now, love cannot be manifest until its way has been prepared, and naught can rend the rocks and bring down lofty hills and fill the valleys up, and thus prepare the way, but purity. 22. 23. But purity in life men do not comprehend, and so it, too, must come in flesh. 23. 24. And you, Elizabeth, are blessed because your son is purity made flesh, and he shall pave the way for love. 24. 25. This age will comprehend but little of the works of purity and love, but not a word is lost, for in the book of God's remembrance a registry is made of every thought, and word, and deed. 25. 26. And when the world is ready to receive, lo, God will send a messenger to open up the book and copy from its sacred pages all the messages of purity and love. 26. 27. Then every man of earth will read the words of life and language of his native land, and men will see the light, walk in the light, and be the light. 27. 28. And man again will be at one with God. 28. 